Yo, what's going on guys? Today we'll be looking at Sturm, the fifth character I think I'm going over in the rebalanced. Uh, one thing I would like to mention is that I did do a video on Lunalu and Six. It's a really cool combination where she is able to copy Six's absurdly strong skill one. I just want to throw it out there. People wanted to see a different combination with Six. Many people didn't know that. I didn't know it, so. Well, I knew about the original Billy, her being able to copy it. But I didn't know if she can copy the new one, so pretty cool. Now with Sturm, she gets quite a pack full of abilities thanks to the rebalance. She gets a really absurd skill one during her, uh, I believe, was it Impudus Blade? So it's really really cool. Her Bleach Cred does like I think anytime Assassin. I don't know the multiplier on it though. I'm um, pretty sure all the numbers are out now on Game With, but I didn't look at it. So YOLO, looking at it randomly, you know, I want to be surprised, you know? So yeah, anyways, uh, her Ogi stays the same. No change there, so that's cool. As I mentioned, Blitzcrack gets a new update. It used to apply burn. It still applies burn, but now it, depending on what stance you're in, um, impetus or defect, uh, that's, that's that right, right? I think I said that right. Um, you either get Assassin for one hit. Um, just keep that in mind, one hit, not one turn. So, uh, just in case anybody wondering. And you get, uh, or, or you get, uh, delay effect to a foe. Um, personally, most of the time you're going to be running her in the offensive stance. So, you're probably going to be getting Assassin nine times out of ten. Though, the delay it's not that bad if you need it so especially when you're looking at content like far high level and if you're in a situation where like they say the boss is about to paradise lost you you can now have a delay though i'm pretty sure her hit rate is going to be dog levels of bad dog i don't want to say the word because you know youtube yes yeah, he doesn't have any like debuff nodes so i really wouldn't rely on her delay but just know it's an option to get you out if you're in a bad situation. Her skill two sword switch does see a massive change from one turn to zero turn. This is very big because of full auto. Being the skill now is a zero turn skill, means it will not be hit. And depending on what stance you leave her, you leave her in during full auto will apply effects based on that. So that's really cool. And keep my switch back and forth. I don't believe they changed anything else about this skill. I believe that's about it, though. Oh, I um, they increased the cooldown on her skill one, Blitz Craig, but I guess that's to really like balance out her anytime assassin skill personally. Now, Redouble gets a reduction, a skill reduction, I believe, and the the numbers on it gets increased. So the dodge rate and the uh, Double attack and the triple attack went up considerably um, uh, quite a bit, so it's pretty cool. Um, the dodge rate does combine really well with her passive when we talk about it. So, uh, Impetus Blade, uh, a chance to increase Sturm's attack with every one foe attack stackable. I believe this is the same. No, never mind. She had a different ability back in the day. She had the ability to give 80% bonus damage for single attacks and 30% bonus damage for uh, double attacks. I forgot all about that. Goes to show you how much I really used her. But now she gains stackable attack depending on um, a chance, if you're lucky enough. And she gains bonus fire damage effect to a full whip burn. Reminds me of the Xenoax. I believe it's another thing with the same ability. So you may want to run her and Berserker together. Keep in mind that both of them are Saber, so it's pretty cool. The Fet Blade, uh, hit to a foe's defense with every one foe stackable. Um, it's, it's pretty good. I don't, as I mentioned, her hit rate is not going to be great because she doesn't have any debuff nodes. So relying her, on her as a defense debuffer is probably not the best option. But, you know, it's an option you do have if you need it. And she gets Blitz Craig effect upon dodging. Just know that if you get the effect and when you dodge, it will be a delay because you're in the delay stance. So, 
That's not, I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Many people have sunk her praise um, to me. I have not used her yet. So let's go do a test run. We're going to... I'm actually going to go to a Tima Malice, not Tima Malice, Tima High Level, because it has three enemies there, so she's very likely to dodge, and I do want to showcase all of her skills. So, we're going to go here. Now, the boss probably won't take that long to kill, but the whole point is to showcase each of her skills individually, and not just taking up on a boss where I can't really showcase her dodge and stuff. Uh, where's the party at? If I can find a party, it should be here. Okay, cool. I brought Rackham so she can get her Blitzcrag instantly. The double nuke. So. Rackham's definitely not that bad when it comes to showcase videos because the auto ignition for any character is really useful, in my opinion. Oh, it's Shrek time. Oh, guess that was kind of null and void. <laughs> well, uh, awkward moment here. I didn't know it would be Shrek time. I guess I was just so far ahead of myself that, you know. I mean, we can make it work though, right? Not, not that bad. Ref's gonna be attacking the other parts of the body. Um, as I mentioned, I wanna showcase all her skills, so that would be our main goal here. You know, I think Nera fought any of these the other parts of the body, <laughs> to be honest. One thing I wish though is her skill one was one turn, so it would have stacked with a uh, sun. Yeah, I know that sounds broken, and you're right. But just because it sounds broken doesn't mean we can't have it, right? That's what I think. That damage cap up, that fire attack, then that fire attack gets overwritten by Rackham's fire attack. Sick. Okay, so now we get to really look at this big, big damage coming up. I believe that since it's a double nuke, right? The first nuke will not have the assassin probabilities, but the second one should. So it should do a little bit more damage on the second nuke. Let's find out. Oh, let's boost. Oh, I think she needs charge bar, right? 20% charge bar for that. 1.4. Wait. that killed the enemy I don't get the other nuke though man it's rip off <laughs> that just had to happen didn't it I'm not gonna use the I'm not gonna use that anything here so I'm gonna do too much damage right uh man I need to reset her her ogi mm. 1.3 that's actually a very low multiplier she had a pretty good grid on her right now um the fence down I don't think it's capped though yeah it's not capped but still it's quite a very low multiplier, I believe. I would probably guess around the 1.2 to 1.3 area. Generally characters with any time assassin get that uh, amount, so I can't really expect it to be too high. Unfortunately, you know. Oh, we had 20% charge bar, my fault. Let's do this. And let's activate her passive. To set. And we're going to attack this part of the wing. Or the main body. So we can try to get a dodge here. So you can see there it missed. Yeah, like the hit rate's not going to be that great. She dodged. Cool. And then we should get a nuke. Ooh, that's really nice. Really, really nice. Um, it makes her really good in the auto comp. With the auto comp is, is the comp I'm right now, Athena and Xenoblade. With full auto, I think like you can really run Sturm here and have really good effects. Um, it does hurt a little bit when it comes to the Ultima though, because you can't really run Ultima Spear because of Athena and Sturm. Like Sturm and main character are both Saber and Katana, I believe. Well, I think only, I think Sturm is only Katana, um, only Saber, but it does hurt the Ultima a little bit. But I do think you can run this these three together. I don't know about the fourth unit. Rackham's here because of the video, but you can do a very reliable, like skill-based damage team with this. Uh let's do this. 
We're gonna stay in this form for a little bit longer. Oh, let's do Rackham skill here. I could have used my um, skill one, but I just pot. Let's see if we can get another dodge here. There's no damage, right? I did, oh, I did a lot of damage for no debuffs. Oh, well, there goes that part of the boss. I think that's about everything I wanted to show off. I think I really wanted to see the nuke though. So I'll try to get the double nuke this time and not kill the enemy. Uh, that? We have these. I think this debuff lasts quite a while, right? Okay, two turns. We can do that. Her damage is still really high thanks to her modifier, so still a very strong attacker, even for magnet players. Um, something I didn't mention in my other videos that I do plan on doing other videos outside of this, like with different pools and stuff. It's just that, you know, I kind of go to my bread and butter for the first video. Just in case anybody's wondering uh, why I tend to go to like the stronger pool instantly. Like I don't mind doing magnet videos, right? If I can like throw out a kind of ghetto magnet pool together. Um, I'm actually considering doing Anubis Magna, so we'll see, we'll see. Unfortunately, doing that comp would require Anella in slot two, uh, in slot three. So, it's something you gotta keep in mind. We didn't get a dodge there, unfortunately, but that's okay. I'm gonna swamp back to the offensive blade. So we can do a double nuke here. I think we have the fence down cap, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's see the double nuke. The first one does one point. Hmm, it actually did, it did the same amount of damage, huh? I thought it would apply the nuke with the assassin buff first. I guess not. Hmm. That's unfortunate. So you lose out on a little bit of damage there. Like, it, like in my mind, the way I thought it would happen is that you use the nuke, you gain the assassin, you use the nuke, you lose the assassin, and you gain it back. That's what I thought. But I was wrong. 1.3, right? Again. Mm, I don't know if the cap is low or if the modifier is really low. If I had to guess, though, the modifier is really low. To be honest, I kind of like her more as a defensive unit. So if the modifier is really low, I actually prefer her as a defensive unit. Um, offense is great and all, and it's really good for MVP and stuff. But whenever I do Fa, I kind of like defense units now. Outside of Bahamut high level racing, offense is not that important. And one turn, I guess. One turn comps. So I may take her to a fa high level and try a more defensive build to her. It depends on, I gotta look at her numbers, see how low her multiplier is. I'm assuming it's like really like 1.2 or 1.3. Um, unfortunately, because you know, it's any time, right? So their way of balancing it out, instead of getting her like two times, three times and five times Esther, you know, they give her like a really low multiplier. So she can cap. But you definitely gonna need a really strong grid to really benefit from our skill one, unfortunately. Because it's a grid, it's a four katana grid, and I'm still only hitting what? 1.4, 1.3. So it's a little bit unfortunate. But uh if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll get on with the next video.